Hi YouTube, it's uh, your sister in Christ here today uh, with my first word of wisdom video. This is going to be a new feature on my channel and it's sort of like a daily devotion. Also, I'm going to be having a lot of questions and answers. I've been getting a lot of questions lately and this is just a quick, easy way to answer them. So uh, these will be daily short videos. Uh, you guys don't need to listen to a 45 minute video to get a message from God. So today's question is, can a woman minister? And biblically the answer is yes, absolutely. Uh, but can a woman be a bishop or a pastor or a shepherd of a local church congregation? No, let me explain. Uh, let me explain through the scriptures. The body of Christ is whosoever is born and born again of God's spirit of the almighty. Uh, who, whoever is born again of the spirit of God is a part of the bride of Christ. So God has given us all a place and offices and gifts. The Holy Ghost decides who gets what. And uh, while we were in the flesh, we're all humans, okay? There is a difference between male and female. Uh, God made them both for specific purposes. The man is ahead of the woman, okay? And she should submit unto her husband. Just as the husband has rules as well to love his wife as himself, just as Christ is our husband, Um <clears throat> and the church is his bride. So, uh, the church is his bride, so that counts men and women. We are all the bride of Christ, just as we are all the sons of God, male and female. There's no difference in the spiritual between male and female. Uh, in the spirit, there's no difference. In the flesh, there is. Now, the question is, should females be able to minister? Yes, there's many examples of women ministering in the Bible um, and ministering to men, not just to women. So there's Matthew 8.15. This is the story of when Peter's mother-in-law was sick with a fever. It says, uh, and he touched her hand and the fever left her. And she arose and ministered unto them. So uh, that includes Jesus, that includes Peter, and everybody else that was in the room. So there was also Priscilla in the New Testament church who taught the man Apollos more perfectly the ways of God. Uh, scripture says that this man was eloquent and mighty in the scriptures. He was fervent in the spirit and he spoke boldly in the church. But he did not know the ways of God perfectly. He only knew about repentance and the baptism of John. He did not know about Christ. So uh, it took a woman to, to teach him that. Um, there was also a prophetess, Anna, when Jesus was born. She was very old. She was like 70. And she did not teach or preach in the synagogues. But what she did, she was a prophetess. She went around proclaiming salvation and the good news of Jesus. Um, she was fully dedicated to God. Uh, she led her life for God. After her husband died, she never remarried, um, but was abstinent all the days of her life. So also all the daughter, there was like four daughters of Philip. They were all prophetesses in the New Testament as well. So as I said, um, in the flesh, there are men and women. In the spiritual, there is none but Christ. So if a man or a woman is filled with the Holy Ghost, they can minister to anyone at any time. Not in the church service or to disrupt the pastor, but uh, God has set order to everything. And should a woman be a leader of a local church? No. I believe the office of a bishop is appointed to a man only. To be a shepherd over a flock, that should be a man. But I myself, I'm not a pastor. I'm not a woman pastor, okay? I just know the word. And I am called as a witness and a servant of the Most High. 
So as long as they are speaking truth, it should not matter if it is male or female. Uh, what are their words saying? Are they speaking truth? Are they speaking the doctrine of God? Or are they speaking lies in the doctrine of Jezebel? These are the questions you should ask yourself, not if the person is male or female. Now, there are women out there like Joyce Myers and Beth Moore who are giving women a bad name. They're, they are not ministers of Christ. They are pretending to be elect ladies of God. Just as there are men like Joel Osteen out there, and there's lots of both men and women out there preaching another gospel. So... Um, but it is male and female. It's both. Because in the flesh, you are male and female. In the kingdom, there is no difference. We will not see each other that way because we are all one in Christ and Christ is one in all. So if that person who is teaching the word of God, whether it be a man or a woman, if they are in Christ, they are speaking truth through the Holy Spirit. So that's what I have to say on this subject. Um, I'm a woman. I'm a daughter of God. And women can be sent as messengers and witness to even men. So this is the biblical church people. Um, I'm a woman, okay, and I see this feminism, this evil thing that's rising. Okay, they're trying to elevate women above men. That's wrong. God set an order. Man, he made Adam before he made woman. Okay, God has an order and a balance to everything. Uh, one day there will be no difference, but right now we are in the flesh and there is male and female. There are rules for both. So I don't think a woman should be president. And this is a woman saying this. Okay. <laughs> I don't think a woman should be president or a pastor of a local church to be a shepherd of a flock. God said you have to be a man and that's fine. I'm just, um, fine being a messenger and daughter of God. I'm fine being just a witness and going out and proclaiming the gospel just as women of the past did. You know, the angel went to Mary Magdalene and gave her a message for the disciples. You go tell these men this, okay? So she can be sent. We are the children of the Most High. So, um, again, I've been called out just because I'm a woman. I said, okay, so you don't really have a problem with my video or my words and what I said because I was speaking truth. But you have a problem just because I do not have a male appendage. That's all right. You know, that's the worldly view of things. But uh, people need to know the Bible. They need to know the sword. And God can send anybody, male or female, to give out his messages. So that's what I have to say on the subject. And amen. That's what the word of God says. So.